Hey, what's going on, everybody? Anonymous Disco here with a new game uh, for me. It's uh, Danganronpa, uh, or Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, a friend recommended this one, said it was kind of a mystery visual novel, um, but might be a fun uh, game to play on the channel. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a whirl. Let's start with a new game. Logic difficulty. Action. So I guess kind is medium. So that's what we'll do. Medium is always. Medium is premium, as they say. <laughs> what in the fuck? Great music. Now he's gone. Oh, now he's a skeleton. Stripped all the flesh from his body. So I wonder if we got kind of like a saw situation going on here. You know, it shows the bear, but it actually the bear is just being puppeteered by a puppet master. Right? You know what I mean? The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to be already attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Very classic anime premise, the, the, the high school of the elite. We see this one a lot. No ordinary student can rule here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Cat. Makoto. I thought Makoto was a girl's name, like in Persona 5. She's actually the girl I romanced in Persona 5. I mean, it is a girl. I don't know. Looks like a dude, though. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Average on the outside. Average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Then why the fuck you at Hope's Peak, bro? I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. I bet you are. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Then that's just who I am. Anyway, I figure... It's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, 
I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I got this overwhelming present, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Hostpeak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. All these people are gonna get murdered. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and then they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. <laughs> What's this guy doing going to high school? He doesn't need, he's got his biker gang, life of crime. The scary thing is he's the only de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. He's the de facto leader of every biker gang. I don't know why I put the word only in there. <laughs> de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love this guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate uh, fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate pro gamer, pro grammar, tell what's on my mind the ultimate clairvoyant and then some reading that made me realize how totally powerless I, it was it was the country's finest top to bottom i felt like a tame little house guy <laughs> who'd wandered into a pride of lions but still there was something i couldn't stop thinking about you see there were a few students who i couldn't find any info on no matter how much i looked with all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked up to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join us at the ultimate, as the ultimate lucky student. Uh, there's some kind of conspiracy, man. There's some kind of conspiracy why they want him there. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. But then actually standing there in front of the school... I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. 
But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hands. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students at the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before and took my first step towards the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start till eight o'clock, so there is about a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. What a nerd. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I shouldn't... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm me down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Hoping for? Hope's Peak? What the fuck? What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, a view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. In the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had the ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Jeez. <coughs> Welcome to Despair Prologue. Uh, yeah, let's save. Save it up. Save it up. Save it. Save it up. Save it up. Save it. Makoto Nagi. Nagi. <laughs> it's not how his last name said. Nying? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object, you can interact it with A. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the right stick to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh, cool. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. I've already read this. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have a TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Mm. 
Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. What the heck? If any normal in any normal classroom, that's a weird, that's where, oh my God, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, yep, definitely metal, thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. <laughs> More importantly, why are there metal plates over all over the windows? Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself wound up. I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. All right, I think I've leave there. Yeah. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head towards the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Also, you can press the Y button to bring up a map. Press the Y button again to close the map. How convenient. Oh, cool. So there is like some moving and shit. That, that's fun. It's fun. She can move. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Music's really good. AV room. The AV room is locked. The school store, I guess it's not open. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? <laughs> Look at this, uh, uh, this band of, uh, of, uh, ultimate elites. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been hand-picked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura, aura, coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naegi. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? You too? 
Things are just getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on here right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report to you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? Oh, that's the biker dude. What is that haircut to? The hell? Now's not the time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be a good to do at to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance, as this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked at, I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the student press A to talk to them. Okay. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's work our way left to right, then. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Cool. Ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyotaka according to what I saw about him on the thread. According to what I saw about him on the, that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community, Public Morals Committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? <laughs> And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Oh, it's the shy girl. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Hardly speak. Ultimate writing prodigy. Okay, cool, cool, cool power. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she comes to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, 
What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? It's not polite to stare, you know. What Stop. The heck? Stop. <laughs> Stop staring at me like some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought. <laughs> I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Self-conscious. Holy shit. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an infer inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. All right. Sayaka. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizona. I look forward to getting to know you. Oh, she's the pop sensation we heard so much about. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. <clears throat> when I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a pop group. She's in a pop group, famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high school She's in, oh my god, high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. But did he, like, used to go to school with her or something, maybe? Do they know each other? Are they... The childhood friends? I'm not a doll, you know, I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh, oh, she's psychic. Holy shit. She's powerful. She's a very powerful character. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Kidding, I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. By any chance, now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, how... <laughs> you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... You're right. Sorry. That's no all good. We can talk about this later. Yeah, sounds good. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk about, oh, she's got to get murdered. She got to be the first to go. Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Not much. Ultimate baseball star. Okay, cool. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... What, were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting you more of a, you know, sporty looking, traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you find that picture of me playing ball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? <laughs> This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head shaving your head like that is part of the national cha championship regulations. 
mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not going to die it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Oh, really? He never practiced, and he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future, you say? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. Oh, I knew it. Because when I went up to him, I'm like, this guy's got to be, like, a, a music dude. With that look. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're all set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. All right, this guy. I've been waiting on this guy. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. <laughs> he looks like a walrus. Oh, he's the fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am a well-known and supremely well-regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get since some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly under unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Sorry if I'm just saying his last name wrong, too, but uh, it's all good. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's kind of embar... It's about embar... <laughs> it's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Hina, okay. Ultimate swimming pro. Okay, I can see that. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and proportions has been widely discussed online. So, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It. Something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto. She just kept repeating my name, moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never i I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyways, glad to meet you. 
Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. And she's bursting with something, Hello. all right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you hear oh, where do I come up with that? All right. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate programmer. Okay, all right. So we got the programmer in the mix. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Uh, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Makoto's a bit of, um... Uh, he's a little, uh, snidey. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Shihiro is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, so listen. Uh I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. She said it for me. What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Sounds like he's pretty into her himself. Not gonna say anything, Kyoko. Can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. That's a cool sounding last name. Ultimate, who knows? Oh, she like, didn't they say like, there was a clairvoyant? I bet this, she's a clairvoyant. People with clairvoyancy always have white hair. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I didn't, and I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this be, could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing here at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just mean getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Alright. Junko. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Eh. Oh, she's the fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. <laughs> she's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Come on. Are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> ah, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real? What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, 
could be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. All right, we got biker dude. It's the last, last boy. And that's the thing, I didn't really, where the fuck are we? There's like a giant safe in the middle of the, holy cow. What's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then though. Mondo. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Finally, someone swore. <laughs> Ultimate biker gang leader. What are you doing at a high school? What are you? Are you honestly? You here to learn? You here to better yourself, Mondo? He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. Yes, <laughs> you see his hair from the side. It's so big. I better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. These four over there are the only ones left. <laughs> is this a chick? I am Sakura Okami. All right. Oh, she's the martial artist. That's why she's so large. Oh, geez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she complete, She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That threat also said a bit more about her. She call her... Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the... Uh, closest known relative to the primates the famed missing link any incoming hope speak students who are reading this let me warn you right now if you value your life avoid her at all cost standing in front of her now I don't think they were exaggerating about that hey, hey you yes I snapped to attention without even realizing it then she started to poke and prod at my body. What are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're not all that fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Yakia, Togami. Affluent progeny? Progeny? What does that mean? Ha, huh, nice to meet you. That's the most half assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakia. Byakia Togami. He's the heir of a parent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of the ultimate affluent progeny, progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. All right, let's check out this dude with the crazy hair. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. 
Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Tight, man. Oh, he's the clairvoyance. The, the girl with the white hair wasn't the clairvoyance. Supernova in the psychic community, the transcending ultimate clairvoyance. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help but wonder if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay, I give up. What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Say what? Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get a real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. Lemuria. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet it is a long story. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Cool. Oh, she's a gambler. Gambling. Doing some gambling. Celestia Luden, right? <laughs> Ludenberg is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, if you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread or write about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title of Queen of Liars. She's totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive, and I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of something. Okay, time we get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. That's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... You said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's when it happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing you saw, where all the windows in the classes and hallways... And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. And then there's the main hall here. 
The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What is, what's it doing here? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it, like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Uh, well, if that's all it is, then it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Ding dong, bing bong. It is fucking saw, I knew ahem, it. Ahem, testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Uh, right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. <laughs> what the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? You're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. Well, you it know? is real. It is real. All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, Damn. I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I will, I will go with you. <laughs> That's it then. I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had once before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but, but just saying put, maybe just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. <laughs> If we don't move forward, we learn nothing. The only chance, the only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yeah, we'll save her up. Save her up. All right, well, I think that's where I'll end it for today. That's about a, a good hour, but this is fun. This is a cool one to play. Um, you can start to see the mysteries slowly unraveling. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going on, uh, but if you guys would like to see uh, some more installments of this game, uh, Danga Rampa, if I'm remembering it correctly, Trigger Happy Havoc. I think uh, if you want to see more of it, though, let me know, and I will definitely play some more. Um, and like and subscribe as well if you haven't already. But with that, I will bid you farewell and uh, be back with some more videos very soon. All right. Peace the fuck out, everyone. See you later.